Jessica welcome back to my channel so as you can see I still have my little buns in my hair so it's the same day I finished cooking I ate it was really good by the way if you haven't checked out my video please make sure to go ahead and watch it I'm gonna link it here so yeah I finished eating and it was very good and I was feeling inspired so I was like you know what let me just shoot another video for you guys so this video is going to be an Amazon favorites so if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm constantly getting packages in the mail. I'm obsessed with shopping on Amazon. They have literally all my money, like literally. I might as well have like shares of their company because I buy so many things. I'm getting a new like box or delivery every day. So this video is going to be kind of like a self-care edition Amazon favorites because I have a lot of like beauty related things. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this bad boy right here wax warmer I'm gonna try to open it it's a little bit messy right now because I use it all the time but basically is yeah it's kind of dirty is there's some wax in there obviously it's hardened I have to clean it up but I've been doing my own waxing at home for like three years now <laughs> let me tell you it hurts a lot but you know I've gotten used to it over the years but I really like this warmer I bought it like I said like I don't know two years ago or so actually no I'm lying I had another one but I left it back in Florida um, back home in Florida and I bought this one before I moved here so I've had this one for two years actually but it's held up pretty great I use it like all the time the settings here basically it goes like turns off and on and then it goes all the way to 185 Fahrenheit um, I always put it you know on the highest setting to kind of melt the, the wax and then I put it on like the lowest setting to keep it warm you know while I'm doing my thing this is how it comes it comes with this little like container so you can use it with this or you can just use it on its own you can put the wax in there it'll still get warmed up but I like to use it in here because if I want to take this off and use the bottom it's like clean but yeah guys I love this it's a great investment if you're looking into doing your own waxing at home um, I will definitely recommend getting this because it's pretty good and it has held up for two years now so definitely recommend it okay so the second thing in my favorites list is this UV LED nail light so this was also about $30 when I purchased it it wasn't too long ago maybe like mm, six months maybe almost a year I don't know I forget but I keep it in its bag so that it's nice and safe so it's this right here this gel light And it brings the plug so basically long story short I also like to do my nails at home and this is pretty pretty great cures the the gel polish like instantly um, it's very good I would definitely recommend this if you want to do your own nails at home especially now in quarantine that we you know people can't go out to do their nails at the salons you can just get you one of these buy yourself a couple of gel polishes or just one to start off and boom you have like a really nice manicure I'm actually gonna do my nails tomorrow so I might record that as well for you guys but yes so I really like this LED light it's very lightweight super small fits anywhere like I definitely recommend it so speaking of nails the next thing that I want to show you guys is this blue cross cuticle remover so I bought this recently and I started using it on my cuticles and it's actually really good it kind of like you know softens the cuticles when I'm kind of like trying to do my at home manicure and remove the cuticle so I've really been liking this it's like I don't know and it comes like in a really big bottle so like it'll really last you because I've used this like five times already and I'm still like at the top so I feel like it's a pretty good investment and it was super cheap I forgot how much it was but I will put that on the screen for you guys the next thing I want to mention is this cuticle oil that I also bought is by Cuchillo? I don't know how to say that. So this cuticle oil is really amazing in my opinion. I put it on my nails after I'm done, you know, painting my nails for the day or if I'm just feeling like my 
so you know my toes are dry or my nails are dry or my cuticles I just add this on it's a like very hydrating it smells very very nice not overpowering and when you put it on your nails look like greasy or just oily because it's an oil but it soaks into the skin super fast so like within like less than a minute it's already soaked into your skin so your hands are like completely dry you don't feel like oh my gosh I have to like walk around with oily hands it's it's a, it's really great and like I said it smells really good it's like a honey milk and honey so it says yeah milk and honey um, smell so I would definitely recommend this if you have like dry cuticles or if you want to just you know add it to your nails after you do your manicure or your pedicure at home to give them that like nice shine and finish off moving on to my face I have a couple of things that I want to share with you guys that I've been liking so far. So the first thing that I have is a nose trimmer. Yeah, I said a nose trimmer. So, you know, we're girls, but we still get our little nose hairs, and if they're too long, you have to trim them. So I bought this, like, a few months ago, I believe, and I don't use it all the time. Um, I use it when I need to, but I actually really like it. It was, like, $12.00. And I felt weird at first because I'm like a nose trimmer like that's for guys But I'm like no girl like you need to trim your nose hairs and I use it super like feels super nice doesn't hurt at all Like at all. I, I was kind of scared to use it, but it doesn't pull anything You just kind of go in there and do your thing same on the other side It comes with like a little bit like a little brush so you can just open it up um, Here and like brush it so the, hair, the little hairs can go away and Then you put it back in place super easy so it has a battery inside, just one battery, and yeah, it gets the job done. If you have like, um, if you have longer nose hairs, you don't want to be showing all of that. Definitely recommend get you a nose trimmer, girl. Don't be ashamed of it. It is what it is. On the subject of hair, we have this facial hair trimmer. So it's basically, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this before. It's like a small, cute facial hair trimmer. With a little light on it so similar to that one but this is basically like for your facial hair I don't use it on my like actual face I just use it on my like stash area because you know I gotta get rid of that it's not cute and like same thing it opens up it has a little brush that comes with it and then you snap it back on and then you put the cap back on it does have a battery as well and I you can buy the heads you can replace them after a while after they're like basically like dull you can go back on like the seller's um, site and buy extra heads for this. The thing is cost like $15. Again, I will link all the prices down below, but it was super inexpensive and it's very effective. Especially when you get like a little peach fuzz and you just want to get rid of it real quick. You just kind of like, you know, go around and around and then boom, you're good to go. The next facial product I want to show you is this facial steamer. It comes with this little measuring cup for the water and then it also comes with this like kit you know to remove like pimples like to do extractions pretty much so this right here is super super good I've used it about three times already and I really like the way it feels I feel like I'm at a spa you know just relaxing and just steaming my face getting all the gunk out I did try to use the extraction tool I use one of them but I made a mistake I guess and like I kind of like went too hard in one area and then left me like a little dark spot and it's still there but hopefully it goes away soon so if you don't know what you're doing with the extracting tools please be careful you don't want to mess up your face just because you're trying to fix it or get like you know blackheads or anything out of your face because you might be causing more harm than good so just be careful and do your research before you do anything but this is a really good um, gadget i really like it i really like how like it just kind of steams your face opens up your you know your pores and like you can get anything out carefully and it was like 30 dollars and you get like a little mini spa session at your house like you know 10 minutes long steam your face and you're good this is this is pretty pretty good i would definitely recommend this if you you know are into that and you like to basically give yourself like a little self-care you know day every once in a while so the last like facial product that I want to share with you guys is this um, jade roller so I've been using this for about a month or so now 
and I used to put it in the I usually put it in the fridge so it can get cold because I like how it feels when you put it press it against your skin very cold so you just kind of like you know roll your skin this is supposed to help with like drainage and like puffiness because you know when you wake up in the morning for example like me I know I wake up like my face is like swollen <laughs> You don't want to see that's not a pretty sight but i wake up like swollen and my eyes are puffy and everything's puffy but this helps to deep up especially when it's cold it really does a good job so i use the bigger side for like you know my my, my whole face and the smaller size for like the crevices like in my nose around the eyes and everything so it also comes with this you can also use this to like kind of like you know for drainage so you basically i saw that i was watching videos about it and it basically kind of like push you know up and then down to kind of like drain all like any water or anything from your, like your face so pretty cool make sure to use it cold so you can get like more of the benefits and obviously look at the direct instructions and use it as instructed so there are two more things I want to share with you guys and they're related to hair I've shared them in my last two hair videos so one of them is this diffuser by the curly co I use this diffuser when I'm curling my hair and it's pretty good it's pretty inexpensive like I mentioned it was like seven or eight dollars I think at the time when I bought it and yeah I guess the job <laughs> excuse me I just choked <clears throat> oh anyways so it gets the job done it's collapsible so it's like pretty good one thing about the you know collapsibility of it is that sometimes like if I press too much or if I'm you know if I do a certain movement it might kind of like go down but I make sure I keep it like where I want it usually I keep it like I this level so it's already kind of collapsed but not all the way and it's pretty good so if you want something inexpensive and something that curls your hair give this a try I'll link my video here so you can see how I use it make sure you watch it and the next thing I want to show you guys is the bad boy my Revlon one step hairbrush I like again I had this in one of my videos and I love this thing it's amazing it, you know straightens my hair in 20 minutes bomb it's like $60 at Ulta or like Target even on Amazon but I don't know what the day that I said I was gonna buy this I go on Amazon and girl it was 35 bucks so I had to buy it so I snatched it up I used it a couple of times and I fell in love so I was sold I will literally buy another one of these once this one gets like you know messed up if it does get messed up hopefully not but yeah I really love this thing it's super good like I said, my hair, I finish in like 20 minutes, 25 most if it's like super wet or something like that. But when I'm blow drying my hair with a regular blow dry, an hour and a half, maybe two, because I'm just there and pulling in the brush. It just makes me tired. This a breeze. Definitely recommend this. So if you don't have one of these yet, invest in it. Go buy one. It's pretty good. So you guys, those are my favorite like self-care products at the moment that I've been using for the past couple of months. I mean, I've been loving them. You know, pretty much all of them. I use them all the time. I even have the warmer for like two years now. So pretty, pretty amazing stuff. I do have three more products that I want to share with you guys. I haven't used them yet. I just got them in the mail like this past week, I believe. And I'm excited to use them. I'm probably gonna use them tomorrow when I do my self care. So the first thing is this Petty Soap Infused Sponge. So this is like a sponge that you use to exfoliate and cleanse your feet. So since we've been in quarantine, my feet and my skin in general has been so, so freaking dry. I can't stand it. Like I'm putting lotion on my body like all times of the day, especially on my feet and like my hands. I'm just like very dry. I don't know what's going on. But I bought this in hopes to, you know, kind of like exfoliate my feet and everything. I also bought these things here. Let me take them out. <laughs> so it's like a foot scraper thing. Foot files, what they call them. Foot file kits. So it just brings all of these. I'm going to be filing away at my feet because, like I said, very dry. Very, very dry. The third product that I haven't used yet, but I will be using it soon, is my drill. Not like a drill for like home improvements, but like my nail drill. If I can get it out. So here we are. So I bought this nail drill because I decided I'm going to stop doing my nails 
as a salon. This makes it easier to file away. I do have nail polish, but this will make the job way easier. And it brings like a bunch of like the little heads. As well as, I didn't show you guys, sorry. Also brings like all the different um, shapes. You can see that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited to try that and see how my nails come out. Hopefully they grow soon because this is just not cutting it for me right now. Alright you guys, those were my favorite products plus the little extra ones that I showed you. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and you got something useful. Um, like I said, all the products that I mentioned here are great. The ones that I've used, I live by them. And I definitely recommend any of them. I will link everything down below for you guys in case you are interested. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.